I've also tweeted a link to Playwrights for Hire, who are going to be at the Bonfield on Saturday, Saturday the 19th at 7pm. Now, I'll say a bit more on the drama show tomorrow, but it sort of crosses over with... Oh, it's in the bar. That makes sense. That's where they were. It's where you can find them. They're not on. Um, they're not on social media, really. There was there was a group called Downstage Right who did workshops. Some of them in Exeter. On playwriting. And they had social media, but and playwrights for hire was sort of part of that. But I think Downstage Right has been discontinued. And if you want to find playwrights for hire, you need to look look for them in the bar at the barn field. They're probably there in the evenings, or somebody would know where they were. Um, and the tickets on on Saturday are six pounds, but uh, the play is for free. When when it was um, a previous festival in Exeter I think it used to be a pound you had to pay a pound a play but I've I've, um, I've managed to get two commissioned, well whether they'll accept the suggestion I don't know um, but they may, they may turn up on Saturday so I'm certainly going to go and see if they do um, it's, it's part of the Elevate Festival so there's a lot, lot going on there but I I don't think it's known throughout Exeter. It's more more pe- theatre people th- throughout Devon and Cornwall seems to be. But anyway, ch- check it out. Have a look. You can find it from the Exeter Northcott uh, pages. Uh, thing is, today the, the We Not Know show is is not a drama show. But it's a, it's supposed to be about reality. But my two my two plays are the CD Walk and um, the Ruins of the Fortress University. So I think there's a bit of reality going on. Um, the Fortress University is a way of describing universities from Peter Horrocks when he was promoting the MOOC scene, the idea of making courses widely available for free online in a massive sort of way and that's that's developed in different ways since but the the image of a fortress university or fortress journalism because he he started out talking about the bbc world service which can be seen as a fortress the the fortress idea is just a way of looking at things and so i do think that part of the tech exeter conference could be asking how AI is speeding up whatever it was Peter Horrocks was talking about. So this this fortress idea or the idea that a fortress becomes ruins, it's sort of there in the background. Um, but the and wh- whatever's going on with the universities, there is news about that. So as as we not know, we'll we'll try and find out the. Uh, the reality of things. We're not saying we know anything, it's just that we would like to on a sort of factual basis. So the the other one, the C D walk, is a walk around Exeter looking at um where music retail used to be. So the where the where the vinyl or CDs or cassette tapes were sold at some some point in the past. So Places like Woolworths or the Music and Video Club or Our Price, various various other ones. Um, and then asking the question, why there's so much student accommodation uh, still being built? Is it, is it still going to be needed? Um, because it does, it does seem that that question isn't, isn't, isn't asked, but it's a fair question to ask, I think. Um, how long these buildings are supposed to 
to survive and whether the campus model for a university it will still be there in 20, 30 years. Um, th there is some news about this. Um, the co-living seems to be much more prominent in the proposals. So maybe there are developers who who are not just concentrating on student accommodation. The co-living has become a, a major option. So on, on Twitter, I, I've had, had some discussions recently about what's happening around St Luke's um, and it seems like the co-living is, is a genuine proposal for the new development and the one they've built there uh, just behind Waitrose uh, apparently is, is intended as co-living and it is people living there who aren't students because it's, it's quite expensive more expensive than most of the student accommodation. So um, there are there are some changes from when the, the, the CD walk was first thought of. The, the other part of it is that HMV does seem to be stable and actually is flourishing, but not just as music retail. The, the, the CDs are hiding at the back. The vinyl has come back and is actually... I'm not sure if it's got more of the space, but it's certainly the the first space you come to. And there's a cafe on Paris Street, which which is also a record shop, and there's a, a another record shop close close to the Phoenix, sort of down down the side of of Gandhi Street. Um, I I don't think they're on the scale that music retail was. But they're existing alongside what has mostly gone online, so quite quite possibly the same sort of thing could happen with um, university as organisation. So a lot of it could go online, but there's still going to be some activity based in a building or a lot of. Dare I say it, a lot of nostalgic merchandise. Stranger things have happened. Anyway, in, in reality, the ex, both Exeter College and um, the University of Exeter Business School will be at the Tech Exeter Conference in the slightly less technical strand. Though I think they're both talking about AI. So on this show, we'll, we'll carry on rambling around it or see what what um what different people think uh january is bet at excel and um i'll i'll definitely be going to that i think chris norton's coming as well not sure about john um but we'll we'll look at what is m mostly a school's show but ahead by bet is for universities and further education and all of, all of these things will will they, they won't they're not going to be resolved but uh, I think bet is going to be a major occasion where they'll be discussed a bit a bit further <laughs>